What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about half reps on the bench press and whether or not they're acceptable. Because I recently got this comment from a gentleman named Veritas and he stated, set the bar high on the bench so you can get 500, just like you do with those 2 inch deadlifts, 2 inch bench press. And you see, I, although I understand the point of view because a lot of you guys have been watching my videos for a long time and you know that I do rack pulls and cheat reps, the thing is, this does not apply to benching. In fact, it's the total opposite. You do not want to be doing half rep bench presses. It's the stupidest thing you can do. And let me explain why that's the case, all right? So the thing is, when you do rack pulls above the knee and you're doing a two inch range of motion, like literally this much, the thing is, you are still holding the weight at the top. Your entire body is being fully engaged. Whether or not you pull it from the floor, it doesn't matter. It's the same position as a deadlift lockout. You know when you finish a lockout of deadlift and you're just holding it? That's where the rack pull above the knee puts you. It's just that you didn't have to go from the bottom, okay? So by that definition, you are still getting maximum stretch. Like, put into perspective, let's say you did 500 pound deadlift on the floor. Now you're at the lockout and you're holding it for 10 seconds, right? Well, if I do rack pull above the knee with a thousand and I hold it for 10 seconds, surely it's the same thing. It's the same freaking thing. There's no difference. The only thing now is that I'm using twice the weight. So that's why rack pulls above the knee are so effective is the fact that you are getting maximum stretch. The range of motion is irrelevant. The range of motion does not mean anything. It's that you are still getting full stretch the same as a deadlift. You understand that? So that's why it's so effective. That's why farmer walks work. That's why cheat, uh, cheat shrugs work. It's not the range of motion. With a rack above the knee, uh, your midsection is being fully contracted, so you get very, very strong abs doing it. You get a very strong lower back. You got to hold it with your forearms. Your traps are stretching. Everything is being worked 1,000%. So there's nothing being compromised here, okay? Uh, but here's the thing. When you do a bench press, when you do quarter reps, you're changing everything. Everything. Completely. It becomes a tricep press. That's all. You don't get any chest in there for the most part. Uh, your shoulders don't get any development. And it's just like a little fucking range of motion. It does fuck all. It does nothing. You're going to get very good at doing half reps on the bench. But it's going to have absolutely zero carryover to the floor. It's going to have zero performance benefits. It's complete shit. No one should be doing uh, half rep pin presses all the time. No, you should not be doing that. If you want to get the benefits of overloading the top, then use bands. That's going to have full carryover to your bench. And it's going to allow you to hit your, your chest, shoulders, and triceps adequately. That's how you want to think of things, okay? That's what I would... Uh, to me, uh, bench pressing with bands is like doing rack pulls. It's the same thing, all right? Um, so that's why it's not like you, you should not be doing half reps on the bench press. I don't recommend that. And if you do it manually, like you no, no pins, you're just doing this. You're going to fuck your elbows up. Number one, Ter you're going to have terrible elbows. And, and actually, that's another point right there. When you do half reps, your, your elbows are not, are not that strong. They're, they're not made to support that much load for most of you guys. If you're drug free and you're doing six, 600 pound fucking pin presses all the time, you're going to have some wear and tear on your joints. Okay. Uh, so that's one thing. You're, you're, you're stopping at a point where it doesn't have to be like that. Whereas with the rack pull, it's like, it's still maximum stretch. You're still holding weight at the top. So that, that's the differences right there. It's not good for your joints to be doing that shit all the time. It's not going to have any carryover to the bench. You're going to lose chest, shoulder size, okay? All you're going to get is stronger at that joint angle. That's it. You're going to get stronger at the pin press from a little range of motion like this. And that's it. Nothing else. So what's the benefit? None. Fuck that. If you, like, fuck that, for real. If you want to get those benefits, do the supplemental work. Do the, the pin press as a supplemental at best. Or do board presses like really high board presses, three, four, five board presses, or do a lot of extensions or uh, benching with bands. But I don't want to see you guys, don't, don't be, if you say, Alex, uh, I'm going to do uh, week one, close grip bench off high pins. Week two, close grip bench off high pins with a medium grip. Like, you, you ain't following my shit. That is not the Alpha Destiny way of training, okay? It's not intelligent. Don't be doing half reps, please. That's fucking stupid. I, 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 I look down upon people who do half reps, especially... Uh, on their shoulder presses, you know, they'll do shoulder press, they'll, they'll do this, this garbage. Come on, what the fuck is that? Or on the bench press, come on, stop with that. That's not fucking full range, it's terrible. You're gonna tear a, you're gonna tear a peck one day, I guarantee you, because one day you're gonna be halfway, and you're gonna fucking bring it too low, snap city, baby, snap city. And then all you guys doing, doing this bullshit on the bench, you're gonna have fucked up elbows, guaranteed. All you guys doing this, on your shoulder pressing, you're gonna have rotator cuff issues. So it's not the same thing, guys, it's not the same. So, no, I don't want you guys doing any two-inch benches. You can do that supplemental work at best. As a close grip pin press, that's fine. But don't be treating that as your main lift. It's not the same as a rack pull in a million years. Not the same. So, I hope that my video has convinced you to keep doing rack pulls, but not doing this fucking bullshit. So, uh, good question nonetheless. That was, this was an excellent topic, man. So, no, I don't recommend two-inch benches. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. I'll talk to you guys next time.